With spring in the air on the Orr homestead. My brother and I are gonna run south here about 50 miles and go turkey hunt. Life's getting back to normal, just in time for the last big hunting season of the year. I feel healthy, healthy enough to shoot a damn turkey anyhow. Well, if it's flashing red, press it. Press both buttons. For the past two months, Tom's been on doctor's orders to take it easy and wired to a heart monitor 24-7. He's got this vest on for his heart, and this is a monitor. There's actually a defibrillator. If his heart should quit, this shocks it back into rhythm. But now he's finally free. Tom went in and had an echogram on his heart, and the numbers of his heart strength are up. So off with the vest and on with life, and he is getting better. I think she's ready to go. It was real neat to get rid of that life vest that I wore, because now that it's gone, I can do my own thing. Hey, how are you, buddy? I'm OK. Looks like a nice day for it. Any day's a nice day for it. <laughs> You're a man after my own heart. All right. I got the necessity. Right. I bet you're glad to get rid of us, huh? <laughs> I think it's going to be a great time, you guys, going. All right. All right, baby. Bye. We'll be back with the turkey. <laughs> you guys have fun. <laughs> get that cornbread dressing ready. All right. Love be you. safe out there. Love you. I've done what I wanted to do most all of my life. I had a job one time back in the 60s. Ever since I've created my own lifestyle, I've been lucky, real lucky. Let's go shoot a turkey. Yeah. Wild turkeys typically live in hardwood forests where they feed on nuts, seeds, and insects. They're big birds, there's lots of meat on them. A big tom goes easily 25 pounds, a big one. The best way to locate the elusive birds is to listen. Sit down on this log, let's call. Good idea. It's a custom call a friend of mine made for me. Yeah, it's really neat. That, by cranking on the lid of it, It makes the imitation of a, of a hen turkey looking for a mate. Usually the best time to use it is in the spring like this. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, every time we've clucked this call, he's answered. Yeah, yeah. Tom and Jack have located their prey. Maybe we need to find a spot where we can set up the blind. We need to get set up before he knows we're here. Yeah. They can't smell you, but they can spot you way better than you can spot them. But to get them close enough to shoot, they'll need to set a trap. I'm just looking for two trees that are about six or eight feet apart. We set the decoys up in here, maybe put our blind right in there. This decoy here is a young male, and this one here is an adult female. It should get the, the boys all rattled. Got this old raincoat we could use for a little bit of cover. This is a, an old Boy Scout slicker. I was a Cub Scout for a day and quit them. They were too soft. <laughs> we just opened the whole thing up into a rectangular, so now all it is is just a shield that both my brother and I can sit side by side. Here's a face mask. While turkeys don't have a great sense of smell, they are notoriously skittish and will spot anything out of the ordinary. Way to cover our, our bright faces. <laughs> they can't see us cock our guns and make any moves we have to do to get ready to shoot.
My gun is a single barrel Ivory Johnson, probably as old as what I am. And the gun my brother was using is twice as old. The gun was made about 100 years before I was born by a guy that was the designated gun maker to Queen Victoria. I don't like guns that are made after I was born. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. They're just not answering up. Sometimes it just takes time. You gotta have patience. You've been sitting there behind this blind for hours and hours. You want it to finally pay off, you know. Finally, the flock is in sight. Give them a little call. But they need to move within 50 yards to ensure a clean kill. They're still way out there. They're all kind of hung up right here. I'm at a dirt pile. Oh, come on, you guys. Bunch of them went behind the mount. Them turkeys all went kind of behind it, and they go out of sight. They're coming closer. I think we should shoot. Well, maybe we better take them. Ready? Ready. One, two. We got two of them. Doesn't look like we're gonna have to chase them either. It took a long time to get a damn turkey. <laughs> the object was for both of us to get one. We had to wait until there was enough of them there to where we could both get a shot. It was the bird. Congratulations. Yeah, same to you, bud. The beauty, look how pretty. What a nice bird, huh? Yeah. Bunch of meat there, isn't there? The bird weighs in at about 20 pounds. Let's check this one out. They're big birds, there's lots of meat on them. And the second is even larger. Enough for a good family feast. <laughs> All right. This is like Thanksgiving. Yeah. We got turkey wings, we got feathers for fletching arrows. And we got wing bones, we can make them wing bone turkey calls. Yeah and we can eat them. Sounds good to me. Now all that remains is a long hike back to the truck. They got a little weight to them too, huh? Yeah. Guess we should have shot littler ones. Maybe we should have just herded them to the truck and then shot. <laughs>